Apocalyptic-looking plumes of smoke dotted skies over parts of Southern California on Tuesday as firefighters continued to battle at least three major wildfires that erupted amid a blistering heat wave and were threatening tens of thousands of homes and buildings. In Orange County, firefighters used bulldozers, helicopters and planes to control a rapidly spreading blaze that started Monday and spread to about three square miles in only a few hours. The blaze was ignited by a spark from heavy equipment being used by public workers, officials said. By Tuesday, it had charred more than 14 square miles and was heading over mountainous terrain into neighboring Riverside County with no containment, said Orange County Fire Authority Captain Steve Concialdi. It burned some communications towers on top of a peak, though so far officials said they did not have reports of the damage disrupting police or fire communication signals in the area. Two firefighters who suffered heat-related injuries and a resident who suffered from smoke inhalation were treated at a hospital and released. Sherry Fankhauser, her husband and her daughter set up lawn chairs and were watching helicopters make water drops on a flaming hillside a few hundred yards away from their Tribuco Canyon home on Tuesday. They didn't evacuate even though their street had been under a mandatory evacuation order since Monday. Fankhauser said the flames died down last night but flared up again in the morning. She said she trusted the crews would get things under control and that firefighters were keeping them informed. Meanwhile, in the San Bernardino National Forest, about 65 miles east of Los Angeles, some 65,600 homes and buildings were under threat, including those under mandatory evacuations and those under evacuation warnings, nearly double the number from the previous day. Three firefighters have been injured since the blaze was reported Thursday, state fire managers said. On Meander Lane in Tribuco Canyon um, towards the top of Robinson Ranch um, at the base of the fire. When we woke up this morning the fire was looking really good. I mean it wasn't there wasn't a lot of smoke and we really felt good about it. Um, all of a sudden this morning though after breakfast it seemed to just kind of blow up again. Um, you can see fire coming over the ridge now, we've had flames coming up, it's, it's getting a little scarier now. But interestingly enough, we had one of the firemen come down that's on the hand crews and he said, look, it, you're, it's going to get worse before it gets better. So you're going to look at it, you're going to get nervous, it's going to be alarming, but we got this. We, we know it's coming, we've got a plan. And so they really are working and organizing and seem to um, be on top of everything. So. We are trying to, as homeowners, to stay relaxed and calm through this process. This is the street that it was that is on mandatory evacuation. Yesterday, when uh, we were getting ready to go, um, a lot of things were happening. The firemen were all here, and we just kind of all ended up staying and talking with them and things started to calm down after that and we did not leave. Um, and last night looked really good. Um, today definitely is a bit of a change in that. Um, but most of the hill is on um, evacuation, but a lot of us have just stayed and hung out because we haven't seen it like this before. It's, you know, now it's coming a little bit farther over. But the firemen have been so kind in keeping us informed and talking to us and, um, you know, finding shelter for a little while in shade in our house or, or underneath the trees or something, so.
we're okay. This, at this point, exactly what's happening is what we were told would happen. Um, so everything is going pretty much as they had warned us it would go. So we aren't alarmed because we were prepared, we've been told. So we're okay, we're okay. My husband just is sitting out in the garage just kind of watching and keeping an eye on everything. He, I'm inside where it's a little cooler, um, but he definitely is just kind of keeping an eye on everything. And my poor daughter, who's a nursing student, is running back and forth doing homework and checking status. So we're all just kind of waiting and to see what happens and what we should do.